What's up, y'all? Shieldhouse here. Welcome back to the NASCAR Thunder 04 career. Today we go back to the lady in black, Darlington, the racetrack where earlier this season we got our first career pole and then wrecked out on the first lap in turn three. So obviously we're going to try to not recreate our first visit to Darlington. I'd love to see the checkered flag if possible, but I'm not getting my hopes up. It is Darlington after all. Looking at the point standings after Bristol, Jeff Gordon takes over the points lead from Dale Jarrett. Still very slim margin, 10 points between those two. Mark Martin's there in third, not too far back. Kevin Harvick, after a really hot summer, has kind of fallen off. Tony Stewart there in fifth. Ricky Rudd has fallen off hard. He was the points leader not too long ago. He's now in sixth, way back. Dale Earnhardt Jr., Bobby Labonte, Ryan Newman, Sterling Marlin round out the top 10. Let's see, where are we? Did we pass Ashton Lewis? We did! Yes, we're 41st in points. After spending much of the season in 42nd, we're now 41st. Hell yeah, you love to see it. We got a long way to go. A couple hundred points to catch Kevin LePage. Anything's possible, I guess, but I'm just happy we moved up in the point standings. That's awesome. In the chassis shop, we got one race left on the repair, so we'll take a 50-50 chassis to Darlington. That's we really need that upgrade to come through. I think we got four races left until that comes in. That'll be <laughs> that'll be big. In the engine shop, we got two options. We got this brand new build that just got done. I'm not really too big on taking that to Darlington because there's a high chance we blow it. I don't want to blow this brand new one. We'll, we'll take this one. It'll be fine. We don't need that much power right now because we don't have the grip. We don't have the downforce to support it anyways. And the body shop, we got a 54 down for us. We'll take that one. That's fine. We got one race left on the new build. That should be a nice body. And then one race on the overhaul. So after this race, we'll have two fresh bodies to go. It's a good place to be. Overall car ratings, 55. Not bad for Darlington. Let's try not to fuck this one up on lap one. Here we go. Last time we qualified at Darlington, we put it on pole. Uh, I really don't want to do that again. I mean, it'd be cool to win pole, but we saw how that worked out last time. So I, I really, I just want to get the qualifying bonus, but not be too far up to the, the, the starting order here. Ugh. Well, that'll certainly help. All right. What's, what's lap number one? Is it good? No. Okay. We'll step it up a little bit here. Yeah. Well, I don't want to start up front, but, you know. There we go. We got to slow down. The car's fine. It's just not particularly fast. But it's good enough for our purposes. What do we got? 20th. Beautiful. Good enough for me. That was a pretty good lap. Um, I think we'll be okay in the race. I, we're going to take the uh what was it the new hampshire strategy as soon as we get that green flag i'm going to the back mrn is here at the great southern tradition the annual southern 500 here at the darlington raceway in darlington south carolina well i've heard it all week the track too tough to tame what's that all about barney the tight groove they have here makes this a very difficult racetrack it takes total concentration but the drivers all race long to be successful here the 64 car has had some big time incidents recently with the four car Quite honestly, I think his driving has gotten a little out of control. It's one. Quite honestly, I don't remember asking. And fighting for position, but he's gone over the line as of late. Shut up. An unusual back of the pack start for Rusty Wallace. I spoke to the crew chief this morning, and he told me that they just missed the setup in qualifying, but he does expect his driver to make his way up through the field and get a good finish without much problem. In 2002, Matt Kenseth led all drivers with five wins. Unfortunately, he also has had 10 races where he finished 30th or worse. If they can just get some consistency, he will be a threat for the championship.
Oh boy, Southern 500 at Darlington. Can we make it longer than one lap? That's that's what we all need to see. <laughs> I, I sure hope so. Let's get it. Well, we're on the outside. That's not really where I want to be. Uh, yeah. That's not how that was supposed to work. I'm really sorry, Johnny. I'm really sorry. All right, everybody, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> wow, I really pissed some people off trying to do the responsible thing. Go figure. All right, last time we crashed right here. This time, we're going to make a lap at Darlington. Yeah. Let's go. We made a lap at Darlington. All right. All clear, buddy. Very cool. This is this is nice. This has worked out okay. Car inside. Keep an eye on your mirror. He's not too happy with it. Oh. Falling back. Focus on your marks, buddy. Wow, that got a little sketchy, but we're okay. Hey, there's Ken Schrader. He was he was really an asshole. At ball. <laughs> We made it longer than the first time, baby! Yeah! Fuck! This is why I didn't want to bring the good motor. Jesus Christ. Well, Darlington will uh, will certainly be a thorn in our side for much of this career mode. That much I know for sure, but hey. At least we made it more than one lap. Hey, it's kind of funny that Ken Schrader isn't listed on here, considering he roughed us up twice at Bristol and just KO'd us at Darlington. Schrader, you're going to get it in the next one. Let's see the stupid-ass results. Brett Bodine wins, because why not? Benson, Jeff Green, Rusty, Jeff Gordon, Sterling, Newman, Kenseth, Kyle Petty. Jeremy Mayfield finishes 10th. Listen, I'm no mathematician, but we didn't even make one lap last time at Darlington, and today we made two. That is a 200% increase in performance. Nice. On the money side, we uh, oh, we made like $50,000. Better than losing it. I told y'all this five race stretch could be brutal on us. We got through Bristol without a DNF, and then we died at Darlington. I can't say I'm really surprised, just disappointed, but we'll move on to Richmond. Hopefully have better luck there at a short track. Got a fresh chassis to take out there, put the other chassis that just got tore up at Darlington into repair, so that'll be back in two races. And in the engine shop, we got two races left on this new build. Three races on this repair, but that 61 engine power is looking mighty tasty. Body shop is where things really get interesting. Um, I sold one of our old bodies, a bad one, that couldn't really go up much higher in stats. Uh, now I'm building a new body. That'll be ready in three races. I'm repairing this one. We'll be ready in two races. And we got two fresh bodies. Look at the numbers. They're so much better. No 50-50s here. That's awesome. We'll take this bad boy. Not as much downforce, but a little bit better durability. Probably need that for Richmond. All that adds up to a car rating of 57. I can work with that. Let's not DNF a second time, please. There we go for qualifying. Uh, this car is not fun to drive. I'm, I'm slowly remembering Richmond the first time. I don't think it was a very good race for us. This, this car has got, you know, big motor. But it has no grip. I'm just sliding everywhere. We just got the, this P13. Oh no! As soon as we get this chassis upgrade done, we can start building better chassis and actually have some tire grip. It's gonna be really nice. But until then, short tracks are just gonna be miserable. P13 is. Third! Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh, no. That's... Oh. Uh, Y'all already know what we're going to do on that green flag. Come on by. Come on by. Come on by. 
Short track racing under the lights tonight from the Richmond International Raceway. Barney, the fans are eager for the race to begin. Tell us about Richmond. Richmond is a great racetrack. It's always fun to come here. We should see some close racing, so anything can happen here. The 64 car has had some run-ins recently with the 10 car. If they don't want this to become a problem on the track and with NASCAR, these guys need to use their heads a bit out there. You can rub fenders now and again, but it shouldn't be a weekly occurrence. Something a little out of the ordinary in this one for Jeff Burton. You know, I spoke with the guys from that team in the garage this morning, and they said they tried something a little different in qualifying this week. They learned their lesson, though. Stick with what works, and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. P3 here at Richmond. Yikes. Uh, <laughs> we'll just uh, try and take it easy here, honestly. That's, I know it's asking a lot, but come on by, everybody. Come on by. Come on by. There it is. Okay. <laughs> I know there's already going to be people that are pissed that I did that. I really want to finish this race. I don't want to DNF two races in a row. We saw how harmful that is to the race team when we had that streak of like five DNFs in a row earlier in the year. We can't we can't afford to have that. We want to start building new chassis and stuff. We got to we got to get all the money. I think we got a good enough car that we can actually go up and pass people, unlike Bristol. I think we will be able to, to contend and, and accomplish the goals. Top 35, beat Mike Skinner, uh, wreck Ken Schrader. Those are the goals for today. And being up front, having to drive harder than I need to, do doesn't get us those goals. It gets us wrecked. Oh, we got one blowing up here. Who's this? Who did it? Oh, Rusty. Hey! There goes yelling at me again. Oh, two of them blew up. Oh, Jeff Green blew up as well. Two in one lap. Look at that. All right. We're not finishing last. We're not finishing second to last. You love to see it. Here comes the leader. Halfway on fuel. Here comes the leader. Who's that, Tony? Yeah. Hey, Tony. Come on by, partner. Oh, he is, he is kicking their ass today. Oh, my God. That's incredible. Got a half a straightaway on Dale Jarrett, looks like. That's nuts. Oh, 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 my. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Thank you. Ah, too high of an entry. The other thing that I keep forgetting you can't do in this game. Take too high of an entry. Hello, pit crew. Time for our first stop of the night. Yeah, we got a little damage. We'll get it fixed up. A little wedge adjustment right there. Half a round of wedge to, to, to try and snug it up a little bit so it's a little more secure on corner entry. It's going to hurt us in the center of the corner, but I got to do something. I can't, I can't keep tiptoeing into the corners because I... I it's not helping. Here we go, front of the field, yay! Alright, we're gonna race. We're not gonna just give up here. Okay. Duly noted. Yeah, the centers is definitely more snug, but I like the feeling on entry. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, easy there, Jeremy. What the fuck? Oh, you get mad at me because you drive up into me on corner exit. Yeah, that makes sense for this game. So stupid. 
Oh, car, please. Car. I don't know what to do with this thing. No! Oh, get shit on Hermy. I just, I don't know what to do. I try to get down to the corner like everybody else. I try to get into the corner a little bit easier. It just loops. It just spins. It has no, it makes no sense. I don't know what to do. Boys, I'm back with a little bit of damage. Let's put four tires on it. We're going to tighten it up more. Another round of, or a half a round of wedge. We're now plus one from where we started this race. I, I got to keep going tighter. It's going to kill the center of the corner, but what difference does it make at this point? Here we go. Back to it. Oh, boy. All right. We got a little bit fresher tire now. Maybe I can get up here and... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jeremy. Yeah, I'm sure it will. They checked up really early for the turn. I'm sorry. We got to go. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, Robbie. Sorry. Fuck! <laughs> uh, this isn't going... Oh, I'm sorry. Please don't hit me. Fuck! I just cannot catch a break tonight. Oh, Robbie. Two wheels in the air. Oh, my God. I, I haven't had that wall spin me around thing since, like, Atlanta. I did it three times there. Jesus Christ. Hey, boys. I'm back again. Now we ain't got no ass. Sorry. I... Uh, I wish I had an answer for this one. Short tracks are just going to be bad for us. Until we get these chassis figured out where we get more tire grip... Short tracks are going to be really tough for us. Let's try this again, shall we? I don't think a top 35 is in our future here, but... Oh, I sent it. Sorry, Tony. Sorry, Kurt. Oh, boy. They were doing things in the rearview mirror. I'm sorry. I'm driving like an asshole. Ask me if I care. I really don't. 40 to go. Well, 39. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Fuck! Three. I, I cannot make this car any tighter. I mean, I can, but I shouldn't. Oh, my God. I don't even know what to say at this point. I'm making it tighter. Another wedge adjustment. Because fuck it. I, I I can't stop spinning out. I don't know what else to do other than keep tightening it up. It's going to make the center worse and worse. But what other option do I have? I really don't have any. <laughs> Jesus. Let's try this again. I'm sure there's some people who are pissed off ahead of me. Is that Kenny Schrader behind me? It is. We owe Kenny Schrader a few. He gave us a couple. Ugh. He gave us a couple at Bristol. And and junked us at Darlington. Number twenty. All right, Jeff. Damn. Jeff, Jeff passed me on the apron. That's incredible. All right, Jeff. Go get him, champ. Kenny. Uh-uh. We're not doing this, Kenny. No. I owe you one. I owe you, like, three. Car inside. Take care of that car. Well, it would have been nice if the fucking car turned. 
Now I can't get Kenny back, and I got destroyed by Jack. Fucking hell. <laughs> I just cannot catch a break. New Hampshire was a bad race. We were just absolutely god-awful in New Hampshire, and I couldn't do anything right there. This is, this is almost worse than New Hampshire because the car has better specs except for the chassis. But because we don't have any tire grip, because our chassis sucks, it actually makes it worse. I'm learning something about this game. Don't bring a big engine if your chassis is shit. Like, there's no point. You. How did that not wreck him? I, I literally put him into the inside wall. Oh, I'm upset. Fuck off, Jeff. Jesus Christ. What the fuck, man? Like... Yeah, how about all those cautions? What a crock of shit, man. Fuck you, Jeff Gordon. Fuck you, Kenny Schrader. To add insult to injury, Mike Skinner fucking wins the race. Like, incredible. Uh, six cautions for 20 laps. All of them were for us, I think, except for Robbie Gordon's hood flying off. This race was absolutely frustrating, man. This was... This was brutal. What a brutal episode. Jesus Christ. Money-wise, we made uh, like 50 grand again, so not optimal. Well, that fucking sucked. Double DNF, and now we get to go to New Hampshire, a track that we ran like absolute dog shit at last time we raced there. I, I can't wait. I knew this stretch of five races was just going to be so hard. It started off pretty promisingly at Bristol. It's been downhill since then, and I swear to God, if we go out again to New Hampshire and run like the absolute bag of broken hammers that we were last time I, I think I might lose my sanity completely so make sure you tune in next time to see if I break this game is really pushing me I appreciate it but I also want to scream we'll gather up what we got move on that's just what we do here at speed house racing but I appreciate you watching today's video if you had fun got a laugh let me know leave a thumbs up on the video and make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you see what happens next time thanks so much for watching this one we'll see you at New Hampshire, God save us.